hey 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 guys welcome back to the channel jenny here the uncrafty crafter welcome back to this week's whip and chat for those of you that are new whip w-i-p stands for work in progress my current work in progress is island life by chuck pinson this is the one i'm currently working on beautiful i'm actually working on it sideways so i'm almost i've been working at the top coming down and i am right about in here somewhere so uh yeah it's going very very well let me put my reading glasses on so i can see what i'm doing grab me a drink of my coffee 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 So, if you want to hang out with me for a little bit um, and just chit-chat, uh, grab a current work in progress that you have on hand. Um, even if your current work in progress is a load of laundry, right? So, uh, over the weekend, I got quite a bit of laundry done. Um, so, that's exciting. Laundry is a never-ending work in progress, right? Okay, so before I get started, started, like started, started, I want to tell you what all we've got here. I showed you my canvas. This is from Diamond Art Club. <clears throat> the art is by Chuck Pinson. Um, the canvas should be linked in the description box below. Everything should be linked in the description box below. So um, the pen that I chose to use is this one that was handmade for me by Crash, Crashly over there at Crafts with Crashly. And this was from the retreat. It's got my name on it. And it's got the beautiful birds and palm trees. But I thought it was perfect for this canvas. The colors, all the things. I'm using uh, glue dots in my single placer. And in my multi placer, I'm using Abigail's caulk. And this one is scented cherry vanilla. I'm using a pink Muni Made tray. This is her older version. Um, I haven't yet got one of her newer versions, but that's that'll be coming soon. So I'm using that. I'm using Harbor Freight. Nope, 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 nope. I lied. I lied. You know where you go for lying, Jenny. I'm using Elizabeth Ward. And um, also one of the random hard case storage containers that's got the little uh, screw top lids. Okay, I call them pill bottles. <laughs> Medicine bottles, whatever the word is. So, um, I believe that is it. Coffee today is um, French vanilla. I've got French vanilla creamer in it. Randy said something about French vanilla in one of my last live streams, I think. And um, I was like, oh, I think I want, I think I want some French vanilla. Haven't had that in a while. Mm -hmm. So, um, also one of my newest pens is this one here from Enablers Outpost. I'm not using it for this canvas. I was when I first started, but I was like, no, I'm going to use this one from Crashly, just because it matchy matches, right? Okay, and let me grab it. Hold on just a second. Okay, it was up there in my windowsill, and I had to reach up there and grab it. So today's uh, oil of the day, or oil of the week, is White Angelica. This one has, hold on, let me, if I can get a hold of the label got a few different oils in it. This one is an oil blend, essential oil blend, but it has some bergamot, myrrh, geranium, sandalwood, um, ylang ylang, uh, black spruce. So it's got a lot of different really good oils in it. So, yes, I'm just going to put a couple drops right there and then rub my wrists together like this. Normally, I put them on the inside of my wrist, but um, 
this smells so good. Oh. Um, but because my wrists lay on this plastic, I don't want, you know, the oil getting on my plastic. So I just put it on the top part of my wrists when I know I'm going to be diamond painting. Um, more coffee. Never enough coffee. Mm hmm. So, yes. Oh, and new nails. You guys, I got new nails. New nails. New nails. Love them. I haven't had French tip nails in so long, but I love these. It's been a very long time since I've had those. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I like them a lot. <clears throat> I have a hair or something on this canvas right here. What is that? Ooh. Looks like fuzz off of a piece of, like, burlap. I don't know where that came from. I don't know. Um, just going to use a little bit of release paper here to sort of like put my tray on and pick a color. So I'm going to start with um, this upside down green or upside down tea. I always call it upside down tea. <laughs> What else would you call it? I don't know. So, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I hope the weather is beautiful where you are. Um, it's been nice here the last week. Um, and the rain kind of calmed down. We haven't had like a ton of rain lately so that makes it nice um especially with school starting back it's kind of a pain whenever there's like yucky weather um so school's been going good for Eli he's been so glad to be back and I really enjoyed having like my normal mornings, you know, um, and I feel like things just feel a little more, like, normal, like it should be, so that makes me feel better, getting him to bed, um, has become easier and easier, um, Jolie tends to get up earlier and wants to, like, take, like, a hardcore nap a little bit too late in the day. Uh, so I've been trying to, like, not let her nap so, so long. Um, but... Yeah, so I think it's just kind of like a transition for everyone. Um, trying to get dinner done earlier than we normally, because we usually always have late dinner. We've just always been that kind of people. <laughs> but um, especially in the summertime, because uh, it gets darker way later in the summer, you know, and so we tend to be outside a lot longer during the summer, and so dinner is always later, but, uh, so yeah, we're trying to get that, that evening routine down just so-so, but not, not been too, too bad, um, it was funny the other day, I had gotten a message from Eli's teacher, and she was like, hey, do you, you guys want a food box? And when she said food box, I was like, sure, would love one, you know? And 
I thought she meant like a boxed lunch or something like um because Eli is doing half days um to start the year out uh he comes home like right before lunch right like right when they're heading to lunch he's on his way home and so I thought maybe you know they had a like really cool lunch or whatever that day and she was just like you want me to send one home with him and so I was like sure it's fine with me no that's not what she meant <sighs> What she meant was, like, three huge boxes of fruits and vegetables, a bunch of canned food, some of the strangest things. I mean, like, a two-pound bag of pistachios. I love pistachios. A bag of... Um, potato chips... There's the produce. Let's see. There was um, corn, cantaloupe, eggplants, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, um, some squash, zucchini. Did I already say zucchini? I mean, there was all kinds of stuff. Some sweet potatoes. A head of cabbage, or no, 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 I take that back, not cabbage, it was cauliflower. Uh, yeah, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Now, and <laughs> strangely, inside the box was also two big, large bottles, like big, the big bottles, and it was like a two pack from like Sam's Club or Costco of vitamin C gummies. <laughs> There was like a pack of light bulbs, um, a big frozen bag of catfish fillets, and the, I don't even, there was still more I can't even remember or think of off the top of my head. And so, you know, instead of the, what I thought was coming, that's what came what showed up at the house and I'm like okay uh what in the world and I was like I thought this was going to be like a box lunch like what is all this but apparently they do that like once a month for I don't know if it's like families in need um like, they have this, like, backpack program. Like, every Friday they'll send, and they've done this for the last s several years, but they'll send, um, on Fridays, they'll send home, like, non-perishable food items for the weekend, you know? But you sign, like, a form for that if you want to do that or not. And it's intended for, you know, people who need it. And, I mean, I don't consider ourselves one of those families. I mean, of course, everybody's always in need. But we're okay as far as groceries. Like, we always have food on the table. And so, I don't ever want to, like, take away from someone who needs that food for their family. And so, I messaged her and I was like, is that what this is? And she's like, no, 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 no. This is something totally different. Um... And I was like, okay, because it wasn't a Friday when they brought it. But I was like, I was just really, really confused. And apparently they have a bunch of these that come in and they go to, I don't know if it's like every student or if they just have so many per classroom that they give out. I don't know. I, and I don't know if you have to sign up for this thing, too, or I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but I was like, Phew, wow. <laughs> so, it was just a lot of food. And 
beer. I thought he was going to get a little sandwich and a bag of chips and a Debbie cake or something, you know? Uh, anyway. And so, I thanked her, you know. I was like, I can't believe you guys sent all that. That was just, like, insanity. And, um, I had never had eggplant before. Let me find another color. Um, I have never had um, eggplant. And so, I, like, the only thing I've ever heard of is, like, eggplant parmesan. And so, I instantly, like, looked up a recipe for that. And we've made chicken parmesan several, I mean, like, often we have that. I mean, we haven't had it in a while, but it's something, you know, it's a recipe that we, like, have made several, several times. And, uh, so, it's very similar to that. So, anyway, uh, made it, and it was super yummy. Um, I would say that the, because I didn't know, like, what the texture would be like, you know, and it kind of reminded me of, like, when you make fried green tomatoes. You know how it's, like, real soft on the inside? Um, so, it's sort of the same kind of texture to me. That's what it reminded me of. And it was really yummy. I used, like, the Italian breadcrumbs and the egg wash and the pasta um, sauce the different cheese things, and it was just, it was super, super yummy. Oh, we had it, and then we had it again the next night for as leftovers, um, and I actually still have, like, one serving of it left, and I'm gonna fight Dale over it. <laughs> I'll be like, um, that's mine. But it was really good. Sadly, um, some of the produce was like already starting to go bad. Oh, I thought I was doing the wrong symbol, but I wasn't. Um, so we had to throw some of the produce out, which made me sad. But, uh, yeah, it was some of the stuff that was like on the bottom inside the boxes um we're already starting to get like mushy and yuck so i just threw that stuff out and um we have like raccoons and deer and you know we live in in the country and just throw that kind of stuff out and the deer and the I almost wanted to say in the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but the deer and the rabbits and all the little wildlife creatures um, can eat that. So. Um, but I was shocked that, the, that I liked that I liked that. It was really yummy. Of course, I guess if you smother anything in mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs and pasta sauce that uh, it's going to taste good, right? <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. um, I was talking to Grace telling her that I'd made it, and I'd send her and Abigail both a picture of it, and I was like, ooh, look at me, look what I did, because, you know, I'm not the one that usually cooks, Dale's usually the one that cooks, but he was like, I'm not making that, you can make it if you want to, blah, 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 so that's what I did, and um, he, uh, I sent the picture to, to Abigail and Grace, and uh, Grace was like, oh, that, because, you know, Grace is in Australia, but she's also Italian, and uh, she was like, 
oh, you made an Italian dish and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I made a little, like, made pasta, like spaghetti with it. And she's like, oh, really? And I said, yeah, we always, I mean, isn't that what you were supposed to do? And she's like, no, usually like the chicken parmesan without the pasta. I mean, like you don't, it's usually just a meal on its own without pasta. And I was like, oh, well, I didn't know that. I always thought chicken parmesan was served with pasta. Is that just a thing like in the, in the United States or is it not even a thing in the United, like, no God's a wonder I'm fat. <laughs> uh, oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and we also had garlic bread. Um, yes. <sighs> Judge me if you want. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, but it was really good. It was really very, very good. Uh, and Dale got um, a gas refill, propane gas refill for our grill because ours was empty and he you know how you can like switch them out or whatever you call that so he did that and um I want to make sure to like grill out um because we have I want to try to grill out this weekend because it's supposed to be good weather and um we haven't grilled a whole whole lot this summer because at the beginning of the summer we did but then like I said we ran out of the the propane and he kept forgetting to like put it put the tank in the car to go get it refilled or switched out or whatever. And, um, so it's been a little bit since we've cooked out and I want, I love burgers and hot dogs off the grill. They're just, I don't know. I like that flavor. Flavor Flav. Um, and I wanted to make the corn on the cob on the grill too, but we didn't end up doing that. I keep forget, I keep feeling like I'm using the wrong, that's a trashy drill. I feel like I'm using the wrong color on the wrong symbol. But I've checked it like five times. I don't know why I do that. Oh, I see three more. Three more. One thing, these, I don't know what's going on. They must be doing some sort of work out past me somewhere. Because um, I've seen truck after truck after truck after truck drive by. Like the big trucks that haul gravel and cement there goes another one two of them back to back it's like they just keep going back and forth back and forth back and forth so i don't know what they're doing but they're loud i forgot what i was saying what was i saying i don't remember what i was saying See, there comes another one. Yeah, kind of makes me like wonder what they're doing. I kind of want to like be nosy. Go see what they're into, what they're doing. They might be fixing a bridge or something because sometimes they'll have like, because we have the that there's like a bridge there that washes out pretty easy. Um, and so they might be fixing that. Who knows? 
who knows? Okay, this is symbol W. Um, super random, but I wanted to mention this. I had mentioned in my live stream uh, last Wednesday night, or Thursday night, I'm sorry, why did I say Wednesday? Last Thursday night, that uh, anybody that was making purchases from my Etsy shop to be keeping an eye out for new goodies that I was going to be including in my goodie bags that I send out with all my orders. And, um, yeah, I was waiting until I got the goodies in the mail to start adding to my goodie bags. And I got them, and I've already started. So, any orders that went out um, from last week, um, well... Let me put it this way, because I can't say every order from last week. But if you ordered, and your order, like you received like tracking information or whatever on your order um, in the last few days, your package will include the goody goodies. So the goody goodies are... Um, sparklers and things from Tima from DP with sparklers. So normally I send out um, in my little goodie bags, I usually, it'll include like a little thing of candy and a sticker and um, ABs, like a little sample size bag of AB diamonds. And um, so yeah, you'll be getting sample bag of um, goodies from DP with sparklers. Plus you're gonna get a code um, on that baggie, a 10% off discount code to DP with sparklers website when you place an order. And the cool thing is, is you can apparently stack this code with like if they have sale items going on um, or sales going on in her shop you can stack the sale item with the discount code the coupon code or whatever you call that so very cool so if you get that in your order um, from me make sure to use that code and get save some extra money um yeah very very cool i'm excited about that um i love dp with sparklers tina is an amazing woman um she's a great person she's a really good friend um i just love her to pieces We've spent a couple, we've spent some time together the last couple years at the retreats and um, she's just fun. She's fun and um, fun to talk to. I just, I just love her a lot. And so I'm super excited to be able to, you know, work with her in this way. Um, speaking of working with her, I have another wee little announcement. Um, so I, um, there was another truck. I have decided to host an event in November and I've been thinking about it for a little bit and, um, I didn't really say anything about it to anybody, um, except for just my closest, you know, friends in the community. And, um, but I'm, I'm just going to give you guys a heads up now. Um, so you can, you know, be a little bit prepared, but this is no, in no way, shape or form an announcement video, uh, for the event. But 
keep an eye out in, on, you know, this space here. Um, but I'm going to be hosting an event in November called Nostalgic November. So, I'm super pumped about it. It's going to be an event um, for the whole month of De November. I almost said December. November, where you're going to um, be able to participate by diamond painting. Um, or, you know, potentially other crafts will be included. Um, I haven't decided that yet. Uh, but um, things that make you feel nostalgic you know I mean I'm really big on things that remind me of my childhood you know I had an I had a great childhood you know growing up in the country and with grandparents and you know a lot of family and neighborhood friends and all the things and so you know there's a lot of things that diamond paintings that I see that make me think of certain times in my life that was good, you know, and, um, that's kind of what I want, what I'm envisioning is for people to be able to, um, craft something that makes them feel nostalgic and puts them back in a time in their life when, you know, they were happy and things were good and whether, you know, it's a Christmas painting or um, an outdoor scene that reminds you of a certain time or a certain flower or, you know, there's so many things that we can feel nostalgic, nostalgic about. And um, so I'm excited, but I'm mostly excited um, because I have a co-host and my co-host is going to be Tina Bernie from otherwise known as Tima, a DP with Sparklers. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited because, to be honest, I've, you know, had events in the past but never really had um, or hosted one with... Um, I mean, I've always hosted them with other creators, and um, I wanted to this event to be a little bit different. I wanted it to be, you know, I wanted to host it with someone that is a creator, but also um, she's a creator sort of in a different way, I guess. Um, but I just thought that it would be cool to do that. Um, she's, a, she has a small business and, um, I just kind of thought it would be cool to host something with someone from a small business and from the other side of the, of the spectrum as far as the community goes, you know? So, yeah, I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be interesting. It would put a little spin on it. Um, and I was telling Tina, Tima, that I wanted this event to be different than the normal layout of events that I participated in and hosted in the past. Um, but I don't yet know. I mean, we've talked about some ideas, but we don't yet know what sort of things we're going to do just yet. So I would love your guys um thoughts on on this and see, you know, what your thoughts were about how to make an event um unique or um just different, like just to like liven it up, shake it up a little bit. Um just make it unique. That's the, that's the word I keep thinking of is unique. And, um, so yeah, let's, let's be like, you know, how do you, how do you, um, catch a rabbit, you know, unique up on it. So you guys tell me how to unique up on this event. <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Ah, that was really bad, right? That was really bad. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, well. Um, I thought that it was going to be a funny joke, but it just kind of flopped. Just leave a comment um, and, and give me some, you know, some of your ideas, things that you think would be different, fun, interesting, um, just something to flip the events up on their side to make them like completely different than what we're normally used to as far as events go. So, but I would love to hear everybody's ideas. All right, moving on from that. Um... The giveaway that I was having from last week, I had mentioned that I was going to send um, one lucky winner a summer surprise for the DP Summer Sky event, um, and that winner um, will be getting um, cover minder goodies from my Etsy shop uh, at Oh Snap Crafters Cafe, and I've already picked the winner. And I'm going to include that screen capture or screen recording of me picking the winner here in this section. Yay! Congratulations to the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. Please make sure to reach out to me. Um, and I will try to, in the meantime, reach out to you um, just to try to make sure, you know, we get you taken care of. So, um, if you don't hear from me, then please reach out to me. All right, I, I would appreciate that very much. I'd love to get your prize out to you very, 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 very soon. So um, make sure to be watching Abigail's channel as she posts her next giveaway. I'm not going to tell you what video or when or how or all the things because we try to be sneaky, sneaky, you know. We try to sneak our giveaways in. Um, so, yeah. Um all right, you guys, that will be it for me for this week's Whip and Chat. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out for a little bit. Um, and thanks to all the participants for the hashtag DP Summer Sky 22 event. It's been fun so far, and we still have a little ways to go. So keep working on your guys' um, canvases. I'm going to keep working on mine. Um We'll see how things things go. I'm excited to start getting down into this water part because that's where I want to like do some of the blingy bling bling. But um, you guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you skedaddle out the door. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Glad to have you. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hang around some more. If you do subscribe, Click that notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video or go live. I go live every Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bring your coffee, bring a snack, bring a diamond painting, and let's have some fun, okay? All right. Um, you guys continue to use the hashtag in on Instagram, um, on YouTube, you know, just wherever you're posting things, but we're really watching, keeping an eye out over there on Instagram for your goodies, um, for all your progress pics and stuff. So 
Thank you for continuing to share all the fun stuff. All right. You guys have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you later. Love y'all. Bye.